Hey, this is the smokehouse here. They're getting ready to stoke something up here. Got some pieces of wood all going. Was he gonna cook some turkey or chicken? What are we cooking today? That's a chuck roast. Oh, chuck roast. So, uh, you turn that back huh. in again, it should be more reasonable. Okay, so you just put a little bit of wood down at the bottom and that's it? Yep. Oh, that's a cheating way to start it, ain't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I just looked down there and I was like, okay, yeah, that's that, cheating. That it is. <laughs> we usually put the fry pan on it, but we're having technical difficulties. Technical film. Yeah, oh, okay. So, Got to go fig plan too, because you want smoke, but fry is not good. <laughs> yeah, right. Fry oh. don't work. Ah. But ordinarily, it smokes up like there's no tomorrow. So in the old days, they just made them this small? Uh, yeah, they'd make them this small for like a house. I mean, it's a little overkill brick, but we've, uh, I mean, we've, I've been doing this 20 years. And the guy in the plaid shirt, he's been at like 27 on the museum grounds. Yeah. Well, one thing we've realized is we've created a maintenance nightmare. Ah. Because nothing's vinyl and nothing's, you know. Yeah. Wood's good, but vinyl's final. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that ain't going to work for a yeah, smokehouse. So we've been putting metal roofs on. His roof's gone to pieces. And, yeah. you know, it's like we had all these bricks that came from the uh, Edwards Mill. Yeah. I was out to Augusta. Yeah. We've got like three dump block truck loads of bricks that were out back. And it's like, Let's put it to clean use. Clean up some bricks and use those. And better than paying a buck a piece for them. And yeah. Had a mason that was willing so yeah he, uh, he did that wow so, so how long does it normally take to smoke that uh, up a piece of meat like that you do want to because this is a hot smoke it's uh it's so you're, you're smoking it almost to a like a barbecue yeah. ideally what you do is you leave it in there six eight hours and let the smoke work it take it out and then throw it in the oven at like 200 degrees for another four or five hours and it'll just fall apart it'll be wow uh, fall apart but this was more of you know an eat today i mean if you turn it way down and you keep a low heat and just really smoke and smoke yeah, you can get the same effect but it takes forever a cold smoker we're, which we're going to try to put one up for next year you build something similar to the size or even a little bit bigger and put it up on that bank yeah. You dig a trench right down to here. Yeah. Put a small box stove, you know, just a you know, old shop stove or something. Yeah. And run the pipe out the back of it and up through the ground into the bottom of the building. Yeah. Cover it back up with dirt. Well, by the time the smoke leaves the stove, it's warm. By the time it makes it to the house, it's cold. And that's where the preserving smoke is. Ah. Uh, my grandfather, he used to, we he used to have a place down Walderboro lockers do it, and uh, it was cold smoke, and he always we always had half a dozen pigs or something. Yeah. He'd have slabs of bacon hanging out in the shed. That, I mean, all from October to whenever it was gone. Yeah. Might be January, might be March, depending on how many pigs you got and how good the bacon was. Or, yeah, and how hungry you got, you go. <laughs> or the company that came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Wow, cool. Because I noticed that, you know, when I come before, like last year and everything, you'd see smoke coming off yeah. the roof and everything yeah, else. It, it was working better. I mean, this here will. It won't take no time to get you a good picture. Yeah. Well, but, there uh, you go. It'll smoke up in a hurry, but we're having technical difficulties that we're in the midst of figuring out. All right. Okay. Uh, humidity has, to, has something to do with it. No, I think the pan got too hot and warped it. What we do is we put that pan on the element and put that wood in there on the end. And I'd say at some point, because it would get pretty hot and it's just a tin pan, so it warped the bottom so there isn't enough contact with the bottom of the pan to get uh, the pan hot. Yeah. 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 Huh. Can a starting pan work better? Uh, yeah, it shouldn't warp. It should crack.